Hi there, in this set of tutorials we're going to be creating um, uh, something in Arduino, a momentary and a toggle switch, as well as show you how to send this to another program. So let's start by building the circuit. The parts you'll need is are the um, couple LEDs, uh, a couple low value resistors, these ones happen to be 330, you can use somewhere in that range, um, and a couple of these push button, moment, these push button momentary switches. Okay. And then you'll need some hookup wire. You'll also probably need your Arduino and a breadboard of some sort. Okay, so let's get started. Shovel that over. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this circuit. Um, let's start by hooking up a ground rail. All right, so if we go ahead and do that, we'll just take some hookup wire there. Put that where we can see it. We'll find the ground. Um, Let's find the ground and we'll hook up one of the rails. That's this pin under two. Pin two, or rail two there, is having to be hooked to the, the ground of my Pro Micro there. And then I'll just move it over to the ground rail, the blue rail there. So that, that grounds that nicely. Okay. Now let's start by hooking up just one switch and one LED. Okay, so let's start with the buttons. I'm going to go ahead and pop a button in kind of close here to. And so let's look at the, the way it looks on the, the bottom, the little claws. So the little crabby claws, uh, I don't even know how to describe the orientation, you know, so they're kind of facing out from each other. So that's the, the good orientation, you know, you c and it's, a, it's actually the only way they'll fit across this rail. So if you put the crabby claws here, let me put it one button, one rail over so you can see it better. If you put the crabby claws there, so they're facing out from each other. Now the two sides that we'll connect when you push the switch are this side and this side, the left and right sides, huh? Left and right sides. Uh, so when you push the button, um, then the two sides connect. When I let it go, they're they're not connected. Okay, so that's the way that switch works. All right. So one of the legs, either one, um, will go to ground. So here, rail 17 uh, is going to go to the ground rail. Now, just a word of caution, at least for this breadboard, everyone has different, but all these are connected, those five and those five, those five, all these here, but the two rails here don't aren't connected, so if you want to use this rail down here, you have to jump them, okay? So we have the ground connected, and then we're going to send one, the other leg, to one of our digital inputs, okay? In this case, um, I think I'm let me just double check which ones I'm using in the code. Uh, eight and nine. So let's make that one eight then. So if we grab the other side of the leg, right there, rail 15, and then find digital eight here on this side of my micro, which is here, rail 11. That's pin eight. Okay, let me make it so it's not crossing wires. Say 11? Yeah, I said 11, pin 8. Okay, great. All right, so now that that's button's hooked up now. Okay, one to ground and one back over here to pin 8. Okay, and if I push it, then the, it'll ground, it'll ground pin 8. All right, so the, the in principle, the way this works is in the code, we're going to pull up the internal resistor on, there's an internal resistor on the Arduino on pin 8, and so it'll register high as long as it's not grounded. And then when we push it, it grounds it, goes through to ground here, to ground, and then it goes, it registers low. Okay, so you know, digital inputs or outputs too are just uh, one or zero, right? High or low. Okay, so that's the way we do it. So you just have to remember when you're trying to register pushed, it's not high, it's low. Okay, but it's really convenient where you don't have to use any other resistors or any other connections. Okay, so let's just repeat for the other. Um, the other button, remember, crabby claws out facing each other. So in any, in any case, if you wanted to use that middle thing and you, you had it the wrong orientation, you couldn't even give them in the, you couldn't even get them into the thing. So there's only really only one way you can orient them. All right. We'll pop those into 20 and 22. Grab those there. Okay. And you can use opposite sides too. So these two are connected and those two are connected, so I can connect that to that as well. So let's do that since we have our digital pins on this side anyways. Ugh. 
making everything fall apart. This button doesn't want to stay in. Okay, let me just tweak those a little bit. Tweak those legs a little bit so maybe they'll stay a better, bit better this time. There, that's it. Okay, so it looks like I'm looking at reel 20 and 22. So I'll hook the one side here. Um, reel 20, I will pop into digital 9 right here next to digital 8 on my Pro Micro. I'll put it on a different pin so you can see. Okay, digital 9. Uh, it's hard to read that there, but that's digital 9. Yeah, see digital 9 there on rail 12. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then back over here, we're going to ground the other rail. <coughs> that's rail 22. And just pop that over to ground here somewhere. Okay, 22 is ground. So you see I'm connecting the opposite sides of things, but this will connect across diagonally like that too. All right, those will two connect. I'm pretty sure it will. You can always test that one. We'll find out anyway. All right, now, uh, great. So our buttons are all hooked up now. So let's go ahead and hook up the LED. Uh, so we'll, we'll st stick the LED in. <laughs> and since LEDs light, emitting diodes, LEDs are diodes, they're um, unidirectional, so there's a plus and a minus, I guess they're bipolar I should say, there, there's a plus and a minus side, huh? and the, oops, the ground, the minus side is the short side, it's kind of hard to see because I've already bent them, so, we'll, so it looks like that's the short side there, if I unbend that completely, yeah, that's definitely longer, so I will stick the short side. I will stick the short side there into ground. Okay, so I'll take the short side of that. We'll put it not too far away um, into ground. And then we'll use this rail twenty five then. mangled this LED, but that's all right. I'm trying to get it in nicely. So one, the short end to ground, the long end, longer end to rail 25. Okay. And then we're going to, uh, before we send it into Arduino, we're going to uh, use a resistor just so we don't fry the LED. Okay. So this is that 330 resistor there. Orange, orange, brown, is it? Orange, orange, purple, brown. I think brown is 10, isn't it? Okay, well, in any case, a low value resistor. I'm pretty sure those are 330. Pop that over there. And then across the middle, just to make a connection. Still always on rail 25. This black wire is really my way, isn't it? Okay, rail 25. Rail 25, rail 25. On the other side. And you, I hope you realize by now that this moat here. Uh, separates the connections, right? So these rails aren't connected all the way through. All right, so through the resistor, and then we're going to send, uh, after the resistor, we're going to send it to one of our digital pins. I guess in this case, I'm using pins, I think, four and five. Let me just double check that. Yeah, four and five. Okay, so four and five will connect rail 25 to rail four. I mean, digital input four, and that one there is, oops, is that four? That's five. Oh, no, five is really hard to see, isn't it? Four is, looks like four is seven, rail seven, okay? And we'll just confirm that there, four, seven. So, so that's it. Short end of the LED goes into ground, the ground rail, long end comes out through the resistor, out to digital 4. So the other way around, 4, digital 4 out through resistor to the LED, positive, negative, back to ground. Okay, so let's do the my second LED. And let's use maybe rail, uh, I, 
together. Just give me a second to try to suss out which one's the, sh the short end, which is this one. Okay. Okay. So short end to ground. We'll use rail 28 then. And then a long end over here somewhere. We'll continue to use rail 28. Now, you notice I made the mistake that I told you about. The oh, no, it's not. Never mind. I thought I went put it on this side. It's still connected. The ground is still connected. I thought I went past the space. It's not connected. Then I have to bridge it. But that's fine. 28, short end, long end on 28. Our other resistor. It didn't disappear on us. Ooh. Oh, here it is. Rail 28. Back over here to 28 on this side. And we're going to connect that rail 28 to uh, digital 5, I believe. So rail 28, connect over to eight, rail 8 here, which is digital 5. Rail 8, digital 5, that's going to my resistor here on 28. So again, digital 5 goes out through the resistor to the LED positive, negative goes down to ground and then back to ground. Okay, And there you go, the circuit's all done there. So we have our two push buttons and we have our two LEDs and they're all hooked up properly. So what I would like to do is make one of the buttons a momentary switch, meaning if I hold it, it's on. If I let go, it's off. And I like to make the other button a toggle one, meaning if I push it, it's on and let go, it's on. And I push and let go, then it's off. It toggles back and forth between on and off. All right, so I'll end this part of the tutorial now if you just wanted to look at the circuit. And part two will be starting in on the software.